someone else and ask me what are the best spots you've ever done, my favorites, and so forth. And that would have to be reach out and touch someone. People from AT&T came to my office one day, and they had uh, all these research. And they said, we'd like to try to change people's feeling about calling long distance. Because uh, all this research says calling long distance to them uh, is just nothing but a big bulge in the bill at the end of the month. And uh, we want to see if there's something we can do to make them change that attitude. And I said, well, what do you want? He said, well, we want them to have good feelings about the spots. As a matter of fact, what they had done right about that time was a beautiful hit record called Feelings. There's feelings. Da -da -da -da. And they had bought the music to Feelings. And they said, well, we want to do something with this music. And I said, boy, that's going to be a second few minutes. He said, no, no, it doesn't have to be. He said, we just want to talk about how nice it would be to talk to somebody long, a long way away. You know, okay. Well, we couldn't think really of what we were going to do, but we had a lot of ideas and, and we kept bouncing them off the client. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. You know? uh, and they'd make little suggestions and so on. Well, Don had a girlfriend, Don Richmond, my partner, one of the most brilliant men I've ever, ever known and loved. Anyway, uh, Don had this girlfriend. And he says, if you had a chance to talk to anybody, uh, who, could you, who would you like to talk to? I said, well, anybody? Don said, yeah, would you like to talk to Abe Lincoln? No, but I'd like to talk to my father. Do you know his number? I said, well, no, he's dead. And Don said, oh, well. Well, how call him? Oh, Don, I can't do that. Yes, yes, you can. Pick up the phone. Isn't there something you'd like to tell your father that you were never able to when he was alive? And she said, well, I can think of a couple of things. In the meantime, Don turned on the microphone. And he said, well, go ahead. Call him. Just just pretend he's on the other end of that line and call him. And so she says, oh, um, come on. He gave her this phone, no cord. You know. And she took it. And she says, hi, Dad. He kept looking at Don. This is ridiculous. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I realize you're dead, but how you doing? And no, no, no. And she got into it. There's something I always wanted to tell you, Dad. And I never did when you were here. Just how much I loved you and for all the things you taught me. Well, so it was about a three-minute spiel. She was crying at the end of it. So we took it down to our genius editor and said, make this into a 60-second spot. Well, we came down about an hour later when he said, okay, come on down here. Came down there. The girl was still with us. And he played that spot, everything you taught me. And, uh, and he had that thing cut down, and it was so beautiful. And then in those days, the only thing that AT&T wanted to say was, uh, well, the first we had to say, a long-distance phone call can make you closer, can bring you closer. And that's all it was. And then at the end of it, it, we had to identify the sponsor, of course. And so Don Richmond would say, the bell system. So we heard that spot and uh, put the music behind it. And we called them and said, OK, uh, come on. And, uh, and also in the line, no, we had to think, feel good. Yeah, call someone you like who lives far away to tie in with feelings, right? And so we played it for them, and they, of course, loved it. And so we put that on the air, and we started trying to do other spots like it, and did. None that were that great, but you know, pretty good spots. And about, oh, this was it. We were doing these spots for eight years, 40 of them a year. I mean, this is the biggest thing we ever did. But that campaign was so great for them. It really turned, OK, anyway, uh, about three years into the campaign, these same guys came back with all their books. 
And we said, we'd just like you to know what happened with this stuff. And, uh, and then they showed us the results now. The same, same uh, poll that they'd taken is now totally the opposite. The only way to communicate with people. And you, you know, every day, call them every day, whatever it was. And, uh, and they said, now we're going to change the name of the campaign. We had a fella in the yard write new music, and we call it Reach Out and Touch the Warm. And so they said, okay. And we continued to do the spots for another five years after that as Reach Out and Touch the Warm. And, oh, God, they won every award they could ever win. And it really, I think, I go again bragging about myself, but I think change the face of advertising because for the first time, real, honest emotion was being put into commercials. And it was working.